Okay, here's a quick video to help you with tonight's homework. Uh, for tonight, tonight's homework, you are doing one through six, but being uh, two through six here to show you how you can do it. Um, you don't need to use the compatible numbers, and you don't need to use the number line strategy. Uh, you don't need to draw or anything like that. Um, basically, just use the problem, the numbers. <clears throat> and then what the kid I want the kids to do is to try to solve the problem in their head. And then once they get the answer, then then they can write down how they came to that answer in their head. And um I'll show you that right now. So 26 to 53. I think the answer is 79. Now, how did I do that in my head? You know, there's lots of different ways the kids could explain it. I did 20 plus 50 is 70. So I did the tens place. 20 plus 50 is 70. Now I still have the 6 and the 3 that I haven't added to because I just did 20 plus 50. So then I add 9. And I get 79. So that's how I, that, I'm, basically what I'm doing is I'm writing down what was going on in my head to get 79 mentally without using paper. Okay, 34 plus 18. How would I do that in my head? Probably the same way that I did number three. Let's see. I think the answer is 52. Okay, so I write down my answer. Now, what I, the kids need to do is write down what was going on in their head to get to 50. What I did, uh, kind of the same thing I did for the last problem, I did 30 plus 10. That gives me 40. Okay, so I basically took care of the tens place. The one, three, and the one in the tens place. So that's 30 plus 10 is 40. Now I still have the ones place here. Four plus eight is 12 and 52. So that's what was going on in my head. Um, okay, uh, maybe one last one for number four and hopefully this gives you idea of my expectation. Again, you don't have to follow and, and use compatible numbers. Um, you don't need to use the number line method. Uh, just any creative strategy that the kid uses to, uses to solve these in their head, I will accept. Some of the kids even, if it was 32 plus 11, they, e they even saw, they were like, well, I just did 3 plus, I did 2 plus 1 and 3 plus 1. That's because in the kid's head, they, could, they pictured it like this. And so they knew that 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 plus 1 is 4. So a kid would say, 43. And I said, how did you know that? And he's like, well, I just knew that 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 plus 1 is 4. So even inside of a kid's head, they used kind of the old school method. And that would be fine as well. Okay, 22 plus 49. Back to how I did problems 2 and 3. Uh, I like 20 plus 40. is 60 so that takes care of the tens place now I still have 9 plus 2 which I know is 11 and that's 71 I forgot to write down the answer here beforehand but uh, hopefully it helps you out a little bit for what I and for the homework they only need to do uh, 1 through 6 and uh, they do need to you know they don't need there's no particular uh, they just need to write down how they got it. So they don't need to, I guess they could draw a picture. Um, describe the strategy they, they use. They don't need to use words. They just need to do the exact same thing I did over here and show how they uh, what was going on in their mind. And they don't need to use the number line. And they don't need to use the count by tens and one strategy. Okay? And they're only doing one through six. So hopefully that helps.